What's up grappler fans? Today we're going to talk about whether or not mud grapplers are terrible in sand. So we don't have the best uh, conditions to really test them today because it is super hard packed. Uh, right after hurricane the tide came up really high. Uh, you can see the dunes up here got kind of washed up pretty crazy. So it's nice and hard packed and you can get out here in two wheel drive with just about any tires as long as you're uh, easy on the throttle. Yeah. Uh, but I do have some clips of this thing getting stuck with these tires and I want to talk a little bit about the tires specifically not necessarily air pressure because that's what everybody always talks about on sand but the actual tread and how that affects uh, your ability to get through sand versus getting stuck and digging a hole. As you guys can see these treads uh, make a pretty distinct imprint on the sand uh, mainly because it is such a deep tread and uh, we'll come around to the other side here you can kind of see it a little bit better in the sun. But the uh, treads on this thing are just so gnarly and uh, a lot of people really bash these things for their ability to dig and make you stuck so quickly in sand which happened to me uh, in this clip here well his full drive wasn't engaging so i figured i'd give him a quick little bump but with no diffs with uh open diffs i got one spinning on this side or actually this one's not spinning this one is went down deep and then uh Got this one's not spinning and this one is so it's all crossed up even though the guys at nitto tire may tell you these aren't the best tires for the sand i personally took my two-wheel drive 98 f-150 on the beach all the time uh, with mud grapplers taught me how to um, be kind of responsible with air pressure and uh, throttle and everything and just really like paying attention to what's going on like right now this thing's pointing uphill if I hopped in it in two-wheel drive and gassed it tried to get up the hill I would dig a hole you just kind of have to uh, you know respect the terrain because you have shovels on your tires that will dig down so in my opinion uh, having mud grapplers the overall appearance sound and um, off-road performance trumps the fact that yes they can dig in the sand and may not be what everybody recommends on the sand because you could do bald tires on the sand and be fine uh, and you probably won't ever dig a hole and it's harder to get stuck but um, I think the challenge of you know a tire that can do a little bit of everything it's a really balanced mud tire it drives really well on the street um, you're not going to get the crazy like wah, 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 like a super swamper or something. It just is a good tire. It makes some noise. It wears out, you know, on the highway. You 
can get through wet grass with the best of them. You're not going to get stuck and embarrass yourself uh, at your girlfriend's house trying to get through some wet grass like just a, a tire that will get you out of pretty much everything um, you just got to be a little careful on the sand because it will dig a hole to China in no time so you just got to be a little bit more respectful of the throttle as I take a moment to admire my paint job I'd like to invite you to comment any questions you have about the Bronco or any of my other projects as well as any projects you still see that I need to do to the Bronco to get it at 100% and my daughter would like to remind you guys to like this video and subscribe so y'all don't miss any content about all my crazy adventures now I'd like to let y'all take a look at my rusty frame and uh, some little clips that I just had to throw in there of uh, these mud grabs rolling on sand and then we'll go pull this guy out Are you good? Whoa, whoa. Are you coming on back? that i want to thank you guys so much for watching i uh, really appreciate everybody that has checked out the grappaholics tiktok joined the private facebook group and of course is on the instagram page so thanks again so much and y'all stay tuned for the grappaholics website that's coming soon what's going on grappaholics the gang